tired today, guys. I feel like the post-viral thing has been beating me up for the past few days, like so hard. Like yesterday, I like got all ready and put on this cute outfit and I was gonna like do all this stuff. And then immediately I was dead. <laughs> like my body was like, all you could do was put on a cute outfit. But that's what you got today. <laughs> anyway, so I did rest yesterday and I watched Damsel. Guys, have you watched Damsel? So if you haven't seen Damsel, it's a new movie that's out on Netflix. And it's basically about this girl who lives in a storybook medieval reality. It's like, you know, kind of like what Snow White or Sleeping Beauty live in, right? Where there's a lot of towers with tall turrets and like triangle shaped flags on everything and dragons and you know, you know that reality. Basically at first it looks like this girl is going to marry a prince and live in this really cool castle and I loved the castle. I love this whole aesthetic, this whole reality at the beginning of the movie, right? But then shortly after marrying him things take a turn for the dramatic and she's like fighting for her life against a dragon. <sighs> anyway, not wanting to like spoil this movie too much, but like it was so scary. I was so scared watching this movie and it was so stressful and I kept telling myself she's the main character so she can't die, right? Like that's the only way I got through this movie was constantly reassuring myself of that. <sighs> anyway, but I think overall the world was really great. The costumes and everything was just super pretty. The acting was amazing. But I'm not super into movies where so much of it is just like physical struggles, right? Physically fighting a dragon, physically hiding from a dragon, physically being in pain. Like I like it more when it's like relationship or psychological. Like for example, if she had like married the prince and then there was something amiss at the castle and there's like a mystery and then she has to figure it out and it's like kind of like a psychological thriller, I guess, or something would have been really cool. But like instead it was just a lot of like I gotta survive in really harsh physical conditions type thing, which is not super my thing. Though, okay, I will give a little spoiler here. If you don't wanna see it, jump to this timestamp. The scene that I think really had the most like emotional complexity in it, and it like gave me goosebumps and it's still like living in my head, is the scene when she gets thrown into the dragon den because <laughs> Like when her like, you know, new husband, I think she was totally developing a major crush on, right? Like picks her up and she's just like, oh, this is so romantic. And you could tell she thinks it's so romantic. And he's like, I got you. It's just, it's just like so sweet and so romantic. And then he's like, I'm sorry. And it just like throws her over a cliff. And I'm like, I can't handle it. It's just like, it's too much. But it was so well written, like that one scene. Like I feel like, if there had been like more scenes like that, like kind of like where there's like all these like weird, complex emotional layers, that would have been really interesting. Also, it is a little bit violent. So if you don't like violence, then it's probably not for you. Now, admittedly, I have a very low violence threshold. Like if you watch like Star Wars or something, or even the new Star Treks, you'd be like, huh, that's nothing, Ellie. That's not violent at all. But I'm like, I'm sorry, I fast forward through a lot of the new Star Trek scenes. <laughs> like, I don't even watch all of the Gorn episodes of Star Trek Strange New Worlds because I'm like, I can't handle this. This is too terrifying. Those are my thoughts on Damsel. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. What am I going to do today? I don't know. Guys, I'm just dead. I dream of working on my novel. Damsel did give me some ideas. Like I loved the world building. I loved that one scene. Like there's so much I'm just like, ooh, like it makes me want to write and like create my own world and my own characters and stuff. Are you guys like that if you're writers? Like sometimes you encounter like a story or something that you're like, this makes me want to go write my own stories. Anyway, that's the effect it's having on me.
time I was eating lunch, I had the lyrics to tolerate it from Taylor Swift in my head. You know, it's like, I lay the table with the fancy stuff. I don't know. Like when I eat off of my fine china, I'm like, I'm just so fancy. You gotta be fancy in your life. Baby, what are you doing? The baby is here. She's like bumping into my foot under my desk. What are you doing? She has been wanting love and attention all day and I keep giving it to her and but she's like never satisfied. She's always like, pay more attention to me. What are you doing, baby? So yesterday I was telling you guys like, I want to work on my novel. And then did I work on my novel? No, because I put on the pretty blue dress. It's from Love Shack Fancy, which I just love so much of their stuff, by the way. But I put on that dress and I could instantly see a photo shoot, like all these different pictures I wanted to take with it. So I did that instead. I think the thing is with photography, you can like instantly create a new world and like world build and create cool things. Where like with novel writing, it takes time and you have to like be patient, right? Mm-hmm. 
think that's the thing. Photography is like instant gratification. And so yesterday, I instantly gratified my desire to like create cool things. I ended up with like three sets of pictures, one with roses, books, and then lanterns. I think the lanterns are my favorite. I'm calling them starlight because like the basic concept is that I've caught starlight in my lantern. Yeah, I don't know, it makes me happy. However, that does still mean I need to work on my novel. Baby, what are you doing? Why are you here? What do you think I should do, baby? Do you think I should just pet you instead? Is that what we're doing? Princess, why do you need all the love? follow my shorts then you know that I got this weighted blanket from a company called Italic. They did a sponsorship with me and I really really like it. It's 100% organic cotton. I think it has like a 15 pound weight but like it's this chunky knit which is a very unique look but I think it's really nice because it keeps the weight absolutely evenly distributed throughout the blanket versus like you know the ones that have beads that can like you know get all messed up. Of course weighted blankets are supposed to be like super good for like anxiety or stress or like insomnia or like all these different things. You can google it. Don't take my word for it. I am not a healthcare professional but like I do have friends that have like love their weighted blankets and that's why I was like I definitely want to try one out. So I am really, really liking this one. Anyway, the company did give me a discount code for you guys. I will be putting that in the description down below. So if you do want to check out this blanket, definitely go check that out. Anyway, I have made some good progress on my book. I feel like right now, one of the things I'm like trying to figure out is the tone, like the overall voice. Like, is this a happy peppy story or sort of like an edgy story and like finding the right voice I think is going to be so essential to the story and so I think I've written the introduction a few times now like using different voices and like like tones like the way I approach it and like I think I'm starting to see what direction the story needs to go in more now.
there's a butterfly. Hi, butterfly. Okay, it's gone. Okay, guys, I have exciting news. I got this book. It's about Japanese history. I think it's super fascinating. I'm really glad I got this one. It examines how Japanese society evolved after it was opened up forcibly to Western influences. And I just, I think it's fascinating. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is though, I got this book because I'm going to Japan. So I've been telling you guys that I want to go to Japan and Korea for like years now. But guess what? It's finally happening. It's finally happening, guys. Like, we haven't booked our tickets yet, but we're like looking at like airlines and flights and we don't know if we're planning on like exactly when. It might be the end of this year or the beginning of next year. But like, it feels like really, really real now. So I'm like, I need to get on my game and like, learn more about the history and like I should study the languages but I don't know for a while there I was doing good at studying Korean and then I just I get really busy but also I think I just get really overwhelmed but yeah hmm. does watching k-dramas count as language study <laughs> it should I've learned a lot from k-dramas Anyway, if you guys have ever gone to Japan or Korea, let me know in the comments down below. Like, what are your tips? What do you wish you did before you went that maybe like you learned you should have done? What did you do right? What did you wish you didn't do? Let me know in the comments down below so I can learn from you all. I'm just so excited though. So I need to keep reading my book and eating my oranges, but it's been so awesome hanging out with you guys. As always, keep being awesome because you're awesome. Bye.